Hi, in this video, we are going to see about a MATLAB project which is entitled as URL based phishing website detection using machine learning models, which is an enhancement of IEEE based paper title Phishing Detection System through Hybrid Machine Learning based on URL, which is an IEEE 2023 journal paper. Before seeing the execution of the project, let me brief about this project. So generally, phishing means an act of creating a replica. For example, if it is a website, creating a phishing website is like they will be creating a duplicate website and they will steal your sensitive information. For example, if it is a banking website, for example, if it is on a SBI website, they will be creating a same kind of SBI website. So you will be thinking it is the SBI website and you will be entering your username and password. So they will collect those username and password and they will steal the money from you. So this kind of act is generally called as phishing. So detecting this phishing is one of the important factor in cyber security. But we should not visit the website. So only based on the URL itself, it should detect it. So here in the base paper, the authors have used a machine learning model called a hybrid model, which is a combination of logistic regression, support vector machine and decision tree. So generally in short form, it is called as hybrid LSD model. So they have named it as LSD model uh, and they have achieved the um, accuracy which is around 98.12 uh, percentage but kindly note that we are not going to use the same as mentioned in the base paper so now let us see about our proposed system so here you can see the IEEE base paper title and our proposed title which is URL based fish injection using machine learning this is the IEEE base paper abstract and coming to our proposed abstract so you can see that we are going to implement using two different models one is using support vector machine svm and another is random forest so first question is like what is the accuracy so we have achieved 100 percent accuracy for this svm and uh, support vector machine and for the random forest classifier we have achieved 96.97 percentage so first thing is like it will be and uh, no, we'll be uh, gi giving the url and based on the url features the feature extraction will be done and after that the classification will be done whether it is a correct website that is a legitimate website or it is a fake that is phishing website so this is about the existing system so existing system as mentioned the base paper is considered the existing system so we are going to uh, tell about the existing model which is a combination of this uh, three support vector machine logistic regression and decision tree so those details are mentioned here and which is the lsd hybrid model and their details are given so this advantage of the existing system is being listed out here and coming to the proposed system which is uh, developed using matlab using combination of svm and the and both the algorithms separately svm and the random forest and uh, those details have been mentioned and this is these are all the advantages of proposed system so these are the advantages of the proposed system and uh, this is the system architecture of a proposed system which contains the uh, uh, input url data set pre processing and classify the url features and predict the url using svm and random forest and currently will be predicting as whether it is a correct url or phishing url and uh, this is about the modules so these are the modules that is available in the project data set creation feature extraction read url and extract features classification using svm classification using random forest performance and evaluation and graph generation and these are the module descriptions of the project and in the system requirements you can see hardware and software requirements so as mentioned we have developed using matlab and the tool we have used is matlab or 2021a and this is the reference of the base paper so now let us see the execution of the project so before execution first thing is like the source code folder so you will be having uh, two excel files file name and mat data set so just open that and it is in the protected view so just change it and save it so it asks for the enable saving so just save it because the system will be processing and entering some values here so if it is in the not readable format it shows some error so make it in a readable format and also this second file mat data set 
so this is also just let me save it and it enable the saving so these are the file data this is up this is the data set that we are going to uh, input into the system uh, there are 100 100 uh, urls given in it let me show you that so first uh, for execution just copy the source code location the source code fishing collection so till that you need to copy the source code location now go to the matlab or 2021a so first open matlab or 2021a so in the address bar just paste the location that we have copied and click enter and now you can see the code is being loaded into the left side panel so just select final.yum and then right click it and then click run now kindly wait for a few seconds so now you can see the GUI of the project which contains the project title URL based phishing website detection using machine learning model the first thing is like you need to make the feature extraction so just click this feature extraction so now you can see the data set loaded successfully messenger and also you can see see the command window so just go to the command window so here you can see it is extracting the url that is given in the data set and it is creating the features for it for each and every url the features are being created So it will be reading all the 100 URLs which is given in the Excel and the features will be created on it. So now you can see the message data set feature extraction successfully. So it means that the feature extraction process is completed. Now coming to the uh, GUI part. So here you can see that uh, the last URL which is, uh, which is given in the command prompt that is in the, ex uh, the data set part it is shown here. Now coming to the next part that is we need to give the test URL so read URL just if you click this read URL it asks for the enter the URL defaultly we have given www.jpinfotech.org where you can enter whatever the URL you want for example I am giving www.google.com and click ok so you can see the URL and now if you click features you can see the features will be created so the features are based on length of the url at symbol based on the url position that is this black slash position and the siphon symbol separation based and the dot symbol based on subdomain and short link service base so based on this the features will be extracted now the classification will be done based on the svm and random forest first let me click the svm so based on the support vector machine it is printed as it is correct url and the execution time taken for svm is 0.980744 and let me click the random forest classifier and now you can see the, the, the printed result is also a correct url so both the classification results both the model has given the correct it is a correct url execution time for rf is 1.08678 so now while uh, I just close this, let me run the final .dm again. So now let me click read uh, URL. Let me give jpinfotech.org this time and click features and you can see the features have been extracted. So now let me classify the result. So for SVM classified as correct URL, random for us is also classified as correct URL. So now let me run it again so now i'll uh, go to google and type online sbi so this is the official website for uh, sbi so what i'm going to do is like i will give this uh, read url and give the url and click ok so this is the website and click features now you can see the length of the feature everything is uh, extracted and now let me classify the result using svm you can see it is correct url and it is classified as correct url <coughs> now this time let me show you with the data that is available in the 
test folder so just go to the source code folder and that you can find the test url file so just open it so you here you can see various urls given for the test purpose so now let me copy this the first url that is given here and now let me go to the read url and paste it which i have copied and click features your features are being classified and now let me click svm so now you can see the svm has classified this as phishing url and what is the execution time taken has been displayed and let me click random for us and you can see it is also classified as phishing url and the execution time taken is also displayed here so now let me close it let me run it again so this time let me take some other url so now let me take uh, wikipedia.org now let me read the url and paste it let me click features let me click classify so you can see it is classified correctly as correct url random for is also classified as correct url so now uh, if you wanted you can check with the other data that is given in the test url uh, so that it will be showing whether which url is uh, legitimate or fishy uh, you can also check with the URLs that is not available in the data set but it may show correctly sometime it may not show because uh, it is only classifying based on the features that has been extracted so here we are considering only few features so you, uh, only based on the URL it is detecting so some sometime the, the website the exact question also is being changed as a phishing website so it cannot predict it so earlier we have done the this kind of same project in python where you can see there are various features available in it for so you can some of the real-time website also can be checked in it uh, here it is limited to only the website that is given in the test folder so now let me move to the next part just click continue so here you can see the next part with the performance evaluation parameters so performance evaluation parameters contain accuracy precision value sensitivity value and specificity value with the execution time taken for the calculation and the random forest also has the same performance evaluation parameter accuracy precision sensitivity and specificity so now let me click the evaluation parameter for svm so svm has the evaluation parameter of accuracy of 100 percent precision of 100 percent sensitivity of 100 percent and specificity of 100 percent the execution time taken is 0.04519933 so now let us calculate for the random forest so the random forest contains accuracy for 96.9697 and precision of 100 percentage and sensitivity of 94.1176 and sensitivity of 100 percent execution time taken is 0 0.0645443 so now let me click the next part that is the graph generation part so just click the graph generation here you can see the performance evaluation of the svm graph and performance evaluation of random forest graph which contains the performance and the number of parameters taken and here you can see the execution time analysis which contains the execution of the classifier one time and classifier two time so those details have been shown in the graph representation part And this is all about the project phishing detection system through hybrid machine learning based on URL or URL based phishing website detection using machine learning models and thank you for watching.